Are you Courtney? Yeah, of course I am. You yeah, have your dad's eyes. So back in season five, we were contacted by a young woman named Kayla who had connected with someone online. But it wasn't a potential love interest. It was a woman claiming to be in communication with Kayla's father, who had died 14 years earlier. In 1999, my father had a mental breakdown and he ended up killing my mom. And a few years later, after being in prison, he had another mental breakdown and took his own life. Wow. Two years ago, out of the blue, you just get this email. Can you explain how yeah, that yeah. happened? Or Courtney was... sent me a Facebook message saying she talked to my dad. She's like, you might not believe me, but if you could, please message me back as soon as you can, and we can talk about everything. And at first, I was in shock, and I didn't know what to think. She knew things like the brand of cigarettes he smoked, how he liked his cheeseburgers with ketchup only, and she knew how he liked his bologna sandwiches and what kind of ice cream he liked. Nobody on this earth should really know some of the certain things that she knows. She says she's a medium, and I mean, I really believe her. Kayla was convinced Courtney was legit, but her refusal to meet up raised some red flags. Is there anybody who doesn't believe Courtney? Yes, my Aunt Shannon does not believe Courtney is who she says she is because she's always coming up with excuses to not meet in person. Well, I guess the big question for me is like, what's in it for her? Does she, yeah. tr does she ask you for money? Do you send her stuff? No, nope. uh, she actually sends me stuff. And what kind of stuff does she send you? For my baby shower, she sent me a $25 gift card and a little card with it. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, yeah, I've never been more hooked on a story in the history of the show. So we set out to see what we could uncover. Everything about this page to us felt very real. This is a real Facebook right. page for a real Courtney <laughs> Whether or not that's the person you're talking to right. is another question. Anyway, we went through her pictures. There's lots of people making comments. Lots of people are tagged in photos. We wanted to see if we could find someone who could tell us that Courtney is a real person. We're just trying to find out a little bit more about uh, your friend, Courtney. Okay. Can you just tell me how you know Courtney? We met about maybe close to nine years ago. She and her family moved directly next door to us, and they very quickly became part of our family. Has she ever mentioned someone that she speaks to online named uh, Kayla? Uh, yes, I have heard her name. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about the nature of Courtney and Kayla's relationship? Yes. It's Frankie, who is kind of like a, um, <laughs> a unique member of the family, basically. And you, you understand the circumstances under which Courtney and Frankie are communicating? I do, and I can understand um, why Kayla would want some answers. Does Courtney have this gift? In my opinion, yes. Finally, we met up with Courtney in person, where secrets were revealed and things got intense fast. Oh my gosh. Are you Courtney? Yeah, of course I am. Wow. Hi. Hi. Neve. Neve. You yeah, have your dad's eyes. <laughs> oh. You have your dad's eyes. Hi, honey. Oh. Are you telling the truth? Of course I am. Oh, of course I am. I would never, ever make something up like this that could be so you know, potentially hurtful. I just, I knew that the situation was so strange. You know, the more I talked with your dad, the more I realized 
you know, something good has to come out of this. And I wanted to be able to give you that peace of mind. When he first showed up, I woke up and I remember opening my eyes and I could see out of the corner of my eye, but I didn't want to look, but there was a figure at the side of my bed. And right then and there, I could pick up the feelings. He was, all, he was also confused. He was also very scared. He, he did not realize how he had gotten there, um, did not know why. And all I could think of was, well, he must need help. I assume at once he told you his name, you went on the internet and looked him up. Absolutely. Did I get on Google to confirm, am I crazy? Does this person and his story really exist? Because believe me, I was just as skeptical. But what happened next was crazy. You're so emotional right now. Cause you sound so sincere, but it's still like my mind is like, you can't though. I know. And my heart and my mind wants you to be completely telling the truth. And but like, it, it's really hard for me to like tell with these kind of things because like I've already had so much go on in my life. Honestly, Kayla, that was why I struggled sometimes with for the getting in touch with you because I was like, this is. Not only is this just, are you kidding me, bizarre, but also, I mean, I can totally look like just sort of some screwball idiot. I mean, but then the more I thought about it, the more like I can't deny that this really happened. Um, can, can you tell me like a few things that it can, you think, you may think that it'll hurt my feelings. Even if it does, I want to know. Like, I want to know what you know that you might not have told me before. You know, I think maybe I didn't go into a lot of detail about your dad and your mom's relationship. And he did have a lot of animosity towards your mom. And yes, your mom had a different, you know, she had a, she maybe made some different life choices that other people maybe wouldn't have or could frown upon or would think differently about. But inside, she- Like, what are you talking about? Shouldn't she strip? She worked at a strip club. She was like maybe a stripper. Did he tell you, like, anything else? Um, I know he himself was abused. I know there was, um, being locked in a room or a basement or, or a, a, something about being locked. Hold on, I think I'm gonna... You're gonna meet again tomorrow, right? And talk more? Yeah. Okay, because I'm getting really overwhelmed. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Um, go talk to them. Do you want to? What happened? This woman is way too real. Way too real. Kayla just was overwhelmed, I think, with the amount of information that you uh, seem to know. So, firstly, thank you for meeting us. As I mentioned to you, you know, we brought Aunt Shannon with us. If you're available tomorrow, I think it might be great to, to all get together so that she can hear some of this stuff and if she has any questions. Do you still feel anger towards him? Well, of course. If I didn't feel anger towards him, then I'd be, it'd be crazy. Yes, I feel anger. Why did you take such a loving, beautiful lady that was pregnant? Why did you take her life? But then I can come to realize it was mental illness. It doesn't mean that I have hate for him. So I'm mad at the mental illness. Did he ever at one point in time, though, look for some sort of help? Because he's mentioned to me before that nobody would help him. I mean, he had people there as his advocate or whatnot, and he had a special person he really would run to. Was it the foster mom that he slept with? And he was very upset that this she didn't This is help. crazy. Yeah, we don't know anything about this. This obviously. is crazy. OK, he slept with one of his foster moms. Who else knew that? Just about us and Memo. I finished that episode genuinely believing that there is not only an afterlife, but that there is a way to communicate between this world and whatever else is sort of out there after it. And I, I haven't stopped thinking about it since, so I'm really excited to check in with Kayla and see what's been going on since then. Whoa! Kayla! Hi! Hi! What's going on? How are you? What's new? Tell me everything. I got married. Oh, wow. I had another baby. I, you're so casual about these major milestones. <laughs> yeah. And are you still living in Kentucky? 
No, we actually live in Florida now. Wait a second. Yeah. Did you move in with Courtney? No. The big question I think we all want to know is, are you still talking to Courtney? Yes. Yeah, we still do talk. But we've only like video chatted once okay. since the episode. And does she yeah. still does she still talk to Frankie? I don't know. I won't talk to her about that. So that hasn't come up anymore, anything regarding your dad? Nah. So uh, do you feel like you're at peace with that whole thing and that you've moved on from it? Yeah. <laughs> because that, I mean, look, that, that, we filmed that episode a few years ago, but like, I think about that a lot. I mean, that was a pretty crazy thing to have, hap to even have seen happen. I, I can't even imagine how it was for you to actually experience it. Yeah, it's crazy. People must ask you all the time if that was legit. Yes. That was legit, right? She just was this weird, total stranger who happened to know stuff about your dad that she shouldn't have known. Yeah, yeah. And you you guys didn't like plan this whole thing to mess no. with us, right? Well, I believe it. I think she has some weird way of, of communicating and I'm gonna leave it at that. It feels like the episode that we filmed and the experience that we all collectively shared was it was a meaningful and necessary step for everyone, yourself, Courtney, I think also your dad, so that we could all move on with our lives and, and I'm really happy for you. Absolutely, yes, yeah. thank you. So yeah, well, it was great talking to you. Thanks for taking the time and uh, good luck with everything. Okay, thanks, bye. Bye. Looking for a little bit more Catfish content? Don't forget to subscribe and tune in for all new episodes of Catfish every Wednesday at 8, 7 central on MTV.